Hey everyone, Aether here, and today we're going to be looking at a golf farm located in Deepholm. To follow this guide fully, it's best to have a Moonkin or Shadow Priest available, due to their instant cast spells that don't require you to face the target. You will also need the add-on Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, which I'll explain more about a little later on. For those of you who have never quested in Deepholm whilst leveling, or never played the Cataclysm expansion as a whole, Deepholm can be got to by entering the portal in each faction's capital city. The portals aren't by the regular mage portals and are both located towards the northern area of the cities. The route we will be taking is just east of the Temple of Earth, past the perimeter of the large central circle on the map. The mobs that we want are everything that begins with Twilight. These mobs have a pretty decent loot table themselves, which will be boosted even further with the use of the Potion of Treasure Finding. This potion, which can be bought on the auction house for anywhere between 300 and 800 gold, grants Cataclysm era mobs the chance to drop tiny treasure chests. These chests are filled with raw gold, greens and crafting materials. Although there are a lot of mobs spread out around this area, my preferred farming route is running between the two crystal formations at the southern area of the route. In fact, if you have a friend who can stand at the other one, you can get almost instant respawns on each side, increasing your gold per hour immensely as well as making it so that you don't need to move. The farm itself involves spamming one macro via the GSE add-on. Obviously you can do everything manually, but I'd recommend that you take a couple of minutes to set this up. To create this macro, type forward slash GSE to open the UI, then click new. In the key press tab, type forward slash use tiny treasure chest. This will automatically open any treasure chest that you loot so that your bags don't get filled with them. Under sequence, type forward slash target twilight, forward slash cast some fire or whatever spell you want to use, followed by forward slash use loot terrain. Spamming this macro will allow you to run around this loop while automatically killing and looting everything. You do need to be stood still for the loot rank to go off though, which is why you'll sometimes see me stop slightly every so often. I also have the loot rank bound to its own key as well. I only play on the high pop servers and solo I can make about 5000 gold an hour with this route. On lower pop realms this number will increase significantly. Also, if you actually take the time to use the crafting materials gathered, you can make an immense amount of gold. It's important to note that the raw gold that you can make from simply looting and vendoring trash will always cover the cost of the treasure finding potion, which is fantastic. While not the greatest gold farm in the world, this place is never contested, can be done with a friend and doesn't need a max level character to do it efficiently. All you need is a level 110. I'd highly recommend this area if you plan on using these materials for yourself rather than selling them, but selling them is still worth your time if you're new to gold farming, struggling with higher contested areas, or just want something different. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up, and if you want to keep up to date with more gold making videos in the near future, please consider subscribing. That's all from me, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, and thank you very much for watching.